the original plan for the studio was that I wanted somewhere that people could make music in the school because recording equipment is expensive and all that and not everyone has access to all of those things. And the first year we had Fringe Fest, we made uh, songs for videos in class and commercials and I'm back here today to see how it's going. Just whenever I find a sound that I like, I start working with it, I start playing around with the notes. When a popular song comes out, I'll do like an actual like cover of it, and that teaches me how that artist thought of the song and how they created it. I'm 100% self-taught, so I've watched a lot of YouTube videos of other producers working, but other than that, um, everything that I've learned in the software, I've completely taught myself. I have music on uh, iTunes. Uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, uh, Amazon, Tidal, just anywhere that'll take it pretty much. I've done uh, collaborations with um, Dominic Arkenberg, uh, Mr. Ken, Steven, pretty much anyone, anyone in the area that really likes music. Uh, it's nice to put your stuff out there because you're definitely going to get listeners and it's just it's just an easy way to like express what you're feeling. I treat most of this like a math equation. Um, in the sense of, I see there's four, and I see that it's auditorially pleasing if I have it on the beat, and like I can just like literally like just do the equation and get a good song out of it. They should be pushing more of a maybe high school level course where you are just composing your own music using algorithms and using equations and like how people make hit songs. The best way to reach people is through music and if we're not teaching that as a class then we're missing out on something. I didn't know if people were still going to use it so I'm really glad that people are.